It's been two days of reckoning over a dark chapter of Colombian history. I accept all charges made for international crimes. This is my commitment to the truth and fundamentally to the victims. With deep sorrow for the horrific crimes committed by my subordinates, I sincerely present to you my regret for not having acted more diligently. Ten retired soldiers, including former General Paulino Coronado, and one civilian testified about their role in a series of murders from 1988 to 2014. They're known as the false positive killings because soldiers reportedly lured thousands of civilians with job offers, executed them, and said they were guerrillas killed in combat to get promotions and other rewards. Last year, a court investigation found the Colombian army was behind the extrajudicial killings of at least 6,400 people. I planned and delivered weapons so innocent young men with dreams, who were loved by their mothers, by their siblings, by their wives, by their children, were murdered and reported as killed in combat as a result of military operations. That is false. They were illegitimate targets. These were cold-blooded murderers. The admissions are the latest development from a 2016 peace agreement between the government and leftist rebels with the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, or FARC. The agreement set up a tribunal to hear testimony by those involved in crimes committed over nearly 60 years of civil war. In exchange, those witnesses were given alternative punishments to jail time. For victims' families, the admissions are a step towards closure and the killings considered some of the worst human rights abuses in Colombian history. But for some, it's not enough. They want to know the names of the people who killed their loved ones. They deceived us. They harmed us by murdering all of our humble farmers and workers. Today, I demand that we get the names one by one. The tribunal is scheduled to continue its work for several more years, leaving time for other perpetrators to come forward. Sarah Balter, TRT World.